Tic-Tac-Toe, a universally ancient game. No matter where your location or country is on this planet, you've played Tic-Tac-Toe before. Admit it. Hello everyone, Mobasim is here. Technology is evolving, the new generations are heading towards VR, and that's all good, there is no problem in that. But the problem here is that ancient games like Tic-Tac-Toe are being forgotten. That is not acceptable. Tic-Tac-Toe has been around for thousands of years, moving from one generation to the next. And now it's our responsibility to hand it over to the next generation. That's why I have decided to recreate Tic-Tac-Toe in VR using JavaScript and Wonderland Engine. Follow along if you too want to help keep this ancient holy game alive for the future generations. The project files are available to download for free, you'll find the link in the description. Also you can join our Discord server. We have a friendly community who can help you if you need any help in creating your own game. The link is also in the description. So let's get it started. First, we will open our Wonderland engine and create a new project. We will delete the default object shapes as we don't need them here and we will keep the bottom panel as we will need it later in the creation and we will disable teleporting and enable free movement. Now we need a tic-tac-toe model, so we will create one. I went to Blender to create it and it's a very simple model to create. And yeah, if you don't want to spend 3 weeks learning Blender, you will find the download link in the description. But I mean, it's very simple to create. Add the cylinder, scale it, then it's all about duplicating and moving now. Move it to the right, move it to the left, move it to the up, move it to the down. Perfect! We can also add material color to it. I'll make its color blue, as I love blue. We'll import our model to Wonderland Engine. Now we'll create collision and we'll add to it a cursor target component to enable clicking. We will also add a text component so that we can write our X and O. Let's test that by writing X and set the right scale for it. Then make the text empty again. Nice! And finally we'll create our own JavaScript component and add it to the collision. We'll copy paste this collision to all empty areas. Great! We'll open our JavaScript component that we've just created to start the coding part. First thing we want is to be able to write X in a trigger box, but only if this box is empty. So let's do that. We will remove the update and initialize functions as we don't need them here and to keep things cleaner. In the start function, where it will be called when the game begins, we will create a variable called empty and we will set it equal to true for now. We will create a variable that references our text component so that we can easily change the text later from. We will create a variable that references our cursor target component and we will add down function and bind it to our newly created function on down. This function will basically be called when the player clicks down on the collision objects. When the onDown function is called, we will ask if empty is true. If yes, then make the text in the text component equal x. And we will change the empty variable to false, so that we can't put another text in this collision. Imagine we write x and then our enemy is just able to change it to false. That would not be acceptable. But again, imagine the enemy writes an o and we are just able to change it to x. Th that would actually be really nice. Hmm. No, 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 we're professional players and we don't need to cheat to win anyway. Let's test what we did. When we click on a collision, it writes X. And nothing will happen if we click on the same collision again, as it's not empty anymore. Great! Now we will create an AI that plays against us. The idea of this AI is simple. We will put the collisions in an array. Then we will ask if there is a true empty variable in one of them. If found empty, then we will randomly pick one of the empties to write O in it. If no empty found, then no one was smart enough to win, and the game will be a draw. Great, let's do that! We will create another JavaScript component, and we will call it tttmain. We will add it to our tic-tac-toe parent object. We will open it, we will remove the needed parts, and now we want to reference the collisions. So we will register them as components and that will enable us to pick these objects to reference from the viewport. We're basically saying that this variable equals this object. Also, as we are into it, let's register a component in the trigger JavaScript and call it parent. And we will reference the tic-tac-toe object in it. 
Nice! We'll create an array that references the trigger JavaScript component from the picked objects. We will create two arrays, one we will name it triggers array, that we will put in it all our trigger boxes, and the second one we will name it triggers empty array, that we will put in it all our trigger boxes empty variables. We will create a function and we will name it play AI. We will call it from the trigger JavaScript. And we will ask in this function if triggers empty array includes at least one true. If yes, we will create a variable and set it equal to a randomly chosen number of the collisions in the array. Then we will change the text of the randomly chosen collision to O. And we will change its empty variable to false. As now it's not empty anymore. I like my soul. Lucky. Nice! But there is a little problem that we will face here. Sometimes the randomly chosen collision will not be empty, so the AI will still be able to drop an O in it as it already passed our if statement. See, it says found empty. Then it randomly chooses one of my non-empties like an idiot. So to fix that, we will program while the picked random equals empty, then we will randomly change it again and again and again till it equals a false one. Let's test that. Great! Next, let's check if anybody has won. Because as we all know, it's not considered a game without winning and losing. Just like life. First, we will create the winning conditions array. There are 8 possible win conditions in any tic-tac-toe game, which are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 3, 5, 1, 4, 6, you know, just copy and paste them. Now we will create a check win function with a passable variable that we name it current text. And we will call this function from on down function and will pass to the current text an x as it's the player's turn. And we will call it from the play AI function too and will pass an o this time as it's the AI's turn. We will cut our setting array variables from play AI to check when to avoid errors as this function will be called first. Now we will do a for each loop to check each element in the winning condition array, we will set A as element 0, B as element 1, and C as element 2. Now we will ask if triggers array A element text is not empty, and A equal B, and B equal C, and C equal current text. If yes, then we have a winning condition, and someone has won. Congratulations! We will then create can play AI variable, and set it to false to stop AI from playing. Then we will do for loop to make all empty variables equal false to disable the player from playing. Then we will console log with when plus current text. If no, we will call play AI if can play AI is true. And we will set it to true in the on down function and false in play AI. Nice, let's test that. See? <coughs> let's try again. See, when I win, it says that in the console. Wonderful! We now know that our win check code works. Now let's make it do stuff to indicate that we won. Of course we won. We won. Not the stupid AI. Let's start with the win green material. We will create a variable to reference our default text material so that we can reset to it later. We will open our resource window, choose materials, duplicate the text material, rename it to green font. Then we will set our green material to this font. Now in the when check, if one, we will change the winning elements material to the green when material. Let's test that. Wonderful. Now we will create the score to know how many times we have won over this idiot AI. We will create new three labels, add text components to them, and adjust their location and scale to make them eye friendly. We will register and pick them from viewport to be able to communicate with them. Now at the beginning of the game function, we will create score x and score o variables and set them to zero. And in the check when function, we will change the result label text to current text when to write who have won this round. Of, of 
course, I'm the one who won. And then we will ask if current text equals x. If yes, then add one number to score x and change the score x label text to x score. Else, we will do all of that but to o instead. Also, if no empty found, then it would be a draw. So we we'll write that too. Let's test that. Awesome. Now we'll create the replay button to reset the game. Remember the default button that we haven't deleted? We will use it now. We will change the text to replay. Then we will edit the button JavaScript component with only two lines of code. First we will register the tic tac toe parent object and reference it from the viewport. Then on down function we will get tttt main component and call replay function from it. Great! Now we will close it and open our tttt main component and create the replay function. In the replay function we will set the result label text to empty. Then we will create a for loop to the triggers array. We will make all texts empty, we will set all empty variables to true and we will change all the materials to default. Wonderful! Now let's see what we have created and when against that stupid AI. Okay, at least I have won few times. Stupid AI. If you've gone this far, then thank you. And congratulations. You've learned the concept of creating games in JavaScript and Wonderland Engine. And thanks to people like you, the holy ancient tic-tac-toe will be kept alive for the next generations. Like, subscribe and comment and we will see you in the next video.